Hey everyone, I'm sharing with you today a series of videos that was originally recorded with the intention of being a process uh, start to finish on a project that I was very excited to be uh, called up for. And unfortunately, it just fell apart. It didn't go at all the way that, that a project is supposed to. And in the end, I pulled out and decided to walk away from it. And originally, I was going to scrap these videos. But after talking to some other artists, it seemed like a lot of folks had the opinion that there would be some value in sharing just that experience. So I went through. I had to do some... Uh, some editing, there's some kind of redacted <laughs> components because I don't want to, I don't want to name the client, I don't want to name the project, that's not really what it's about, and I don't feel ultimately, I had a, a relatively good experience with the art director, despite my frustrations, because I felt that it was a situation where there was more going on behind the scenes than I was aware of, and I still don't fully know. But in any case, I thought that it was best to kind of keep it anonymous and really just make it more about the experience of a, a job going from high enthusiasm to in a really bad place. So the one thing that's kind of missing here that I, that I unfortunately can't show is any of the work that I did. In total, there were about I think nine painted studies created for this and many, many pages of sketchbook thumbnails and uh, quite, quite a good number of pencil roughs as well. And then all of the supporting work that went into doing that stuff, 3D models and things like that. So it really is a, a large uh, chunk of time that unfortunately, even though some of it was documented, I really can't show it uh, by the terms of the contract. I can't show any of the work for the project. And so you're really just going to kind of see me talk through the whole experience of the job and, and how it went. So I am starting up a new project. I haven't done very much work for And so I'm really excited they uh, contacted me and asked if I was available for some pieces. And I was like, absolutely, I am very excited about that. And I just got my assignments and I'm opening them up now to take a look. And so uh, looks like, which is fun. Uh, both of them are like, fully illustrated scenes, I think. And so uh, one of them, uh, title is- Job number one. Awesome. Um, nice, okay. And second one is- uh, Job number two. Fucking okay. A, okay. Well, um, Cool. I'm excited about these and uh, yeah, time to start thumbnailing. So I'm checking in uh, on these pieces. I actually recorded another video, um, but I'm just going to kind of uh, discard that and recap some of the information from it because the something went wrong with the audio and it sounded horrible. <laughs> but uh, essentially the gist of that was that I had a third assignment come in uh, since the first two. Job number three. I've been working on sketches, exploring ideas for these pieces. I have a lot of really rough pencils that don't really look like much. Uh, some of them are, are really just like small thumbnails um, exploring possible directions for uh, for these pieces in a very in very abstract ways and then I've been uh, taking these and uh, working with some 3d 
programs to kind of figure out the scenes in a little bit more detail. I, th I think at this point, like I'm really coming around to realizing that uh, I, I approach composing scenes uh, with a very kind of like photographer mindset. And in that way, like having models in the studio to work with or um, having 3D models to work with lets me really kind of like take a look at the, you know, I've got an idea, set it up, play around with lights, play around with pose, move around and look for different angles and compositions and really kind of just like finesse it into place from there. So that's what I've been doing. And at this point, I've got um, a couple of what I think are uh, a couple of setups for job number one that are ready to go into the next stage and the job number three. I still haven't really gotten cracking into the job number two uh, piece yet. But um, yeah, once I, I've, I've got the kind of reference put together and then I'm going to sit down and uh, do little painted studies, uh, which is what I will be turning into the art director for the first round of approvals to get the sketch approved and move forward to the final. Uh, the Job number one. So I'm really excited about. I was kind of having a tough time. And it's it, like one of the things I realized as I started sketching this and, and trying to figure this out is I would typically have the, um, the person who is being attacked be more kind of central or focal to the piece. Uh, but they're actually, that's, that's not what the piece is about. And they don't want that to be the focal point of the piece, but that does still need to be present. And so I was really kind of struggling where I, I was just feeling like a lot of the sketches that I was coming up with were very kind of just like similar ideas again and again. That, that all kind of came around to the same kind of like these three lined up very it just was feeling very like very flat um you know very it could look cool but sometimes it's like the when i feel like i just keep hitting the same idea again and again that each sketch is just kind of the same idea it makes me really start to kind of not trust that idea feel like there's got to be something more interesting or or something else, some other way to approach this that I'm not thinking of. And um, that eventually led me to thinking about what different kind of environment could be in. And um, this was uh, this, this, um, this kind of like a spiral staircase idea that I had and started working with that, fooling around with that in 3D. And the spiral staircase gave me like different elevations to be moving in. And the staircase itself has some really interesting shapes. And I was very happy with how the, um, the 3D kind of layout went for this. And to the point where I was just kind of like, I want to do another idea. I want to do this idea. But uh, I did push myself forward with figuring out um, a second idea, which still actually, I, I, I continued with the staircase, but this time a more kind of conventional staircase. But it again, it lets you have a little bit more interesting kind of um, just having different heights and having different, having different elevations to play with. I'm pretty excited about both of them. Job number three. Uh, similarly, like the, the, the two concepts that I've got going so far, very excited about both of them. Looking forward to getting into the paint with those. And uh, so now I just have to figure Job out. Job number two. And then once that's worked out, I'll be sitting down and painting these. Well, I have sketches completed for the assignments that I've been sent pending approval. At the moment, I just sent them in, so we'll see what feedback I'm given. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Here's an example just to, to show kind of the scale and size. And these are being done on watercolor block, which is basically a 
stack of paper glued around all the edges to keep it from buckling and warping. Gesso over top, and then an acrylic red ground over top of that, and then I paint the sketches. And there's some others behind me there. In all, I did two options of each piece, and I think it's hard for me to kind of decide which I prefer of each one, and I feel like that's usually a good sign. I definitely always want to go in delivering only ideas that I'm really excited about moving forward to, uh, moving forward with, and not delivering anything that I'm not so sure about. And I'm very into all of these. So we'll see when the feedback comes in and hopefully it'll be just picking either A or B for each one and going forward. If there's any notes, then I'll address that and hopefully get these onto the board and into the finish stage very soon. Okay, feedback came in for the and I'm a little bit frustrated. Of the three pieces, they want me to go back and start over from scratch on two of them, which is frustrating, especially because uh, time is short. I have a lot of work that I need to get done in the next month, which is when these pieces are due. And that's my business, not theirs, but it definitely makes me concerned about the time that I already put in here and that now I'm actually not totally clear uh, where, where these are supposed to go. The notes are a little bit hard for me to understand. Some of them contradict the references that I was sent. Uh, some of them ask for me to make changes, but the changes they're asking for are details that are already present in the sketches. So I actually don't normally like to do this, but I did reply I uh, uh, just kind of pointing out that I have some concerns about the notes and really just wanting to, I, I want to be 100% clear if I'm going to be putting in several more days on new sketches for these, which is unfortunately the reality that I have to do. I really want to be clear that I'm moving in the right direction. And uh, as, as I am reading this email right now, I'm actually not sure what that direction is so i need i need a little further explanation on some of this so that's how it goes sometimes i was really excited about these sketches um i'm sure that the the new pieces are going to be even better that's always the case but it's still a bummer so we'll see what they say in the feedback to my questions and to do more sketches. I got back into these over the weekend. I think, I mean, I'm happy. I was happy before, but I'm happy now again. <laughs> I, uh, I, and I do feel in particular the job number two. I'm excited about this uh, that I think is going in a even better direction than before and hopefully is what they want. So because time is short, and I don't really know this art team that well, and I get the sense from our interactions so far, I might have rushed ahead too quickly. There are some clients that I show more progressive steps and some clients that I can just jump right into a pretty finished painted sketch and the feedback process from there is pretty minimal. So as I kind of figure out how things are going to go with this particular art team, I decided to give them pencil sketches for this next update, just to make sure that I understand where we're going before I put in the time to do painted sketches. If they like these, then I will get into the painted sketches with a lot more confidence that I'm not wasting my time. And I think that the pencil sketches in some ways also might be a little easier for them to see some like details, which I get the feeling is maybe something they want. The truth is, it's something that I 
was thinking about with the, the feedback I got, because the initial response had some action items they wanted me to do that felt to me uh, confusing or contradictory. And so I asked for some follow-up and I got a reply that instead of telling me here are the things that need to be fixed, it was kind of explaining the thought process behind it. And I wish that more art directors would just do that at the outset. Not, it's, I just don't think that it's a thing. Very few of my art directors seem to think that way. And it's so helpful to understand why changes are being requested. In some cases, I would actually rather just be told what the problem is and come up with a solution than be given a solution and not understand why that's what we're doing. So I think that these are uh, going to be cool pieces if they decide to go forward. The job number one piece, they didn't ask for a new sketch on this one, but they did ask me to remove, there was a, a figure in the foreground over here where all were directing their attention. And they asked me to remove that figure and shift the attention onto us, the viewer. In concept, I really like that idea. I actually felt like I would have preferred to have done that from the start. But as I was, um, as I was working on an updated version, I realized that it changes the tone of the piece kind of significantly. And with already having some miscommunications and false starts on these assignments, I felt like it would probably be a good idea to just run this one past them too, even though they didn't ask to see another sketch, just to say, I want to make sure that, that this is what you want to see. And I don't want any of this to come across as sounding like, I'm frustrated about having spent time on pieces and then finding out that I was moving in the wrong direction. I am getting to know this art team and that's really kind of on me. This art team, I think they function somewhat differently and I think that their process and priorities are different and I need to learn that and learn what to expect. And so when I'm working with a new client, it's often good to, to, to not make too many assumptions at the outset, which is kind of what I did here. And so I'm hopeful that rebooting here and taking a slightly more granular approach to how these sketches are presented might just be a more efficient use of time, which ultimately that's, that's really the thing that concerns me most is to be using my time well to show them work that they can respond to and direct into the direction that they need that's also going to be something that's exciting to me and that i'm not just kind of groping around hoping to find it by accident but that we can do this in a kind of logical and and productive way anyway i got these pencils that i just sent in so we will see Hopefully, honestly, at this point, if they are happy with these, that's great because then I can just keep on going ahead. And if they're not happy with these, then I'll also feel like, well, OK, I'm glad that I didn't just plunge ahead on something that still wasn't the thing. The ultimate thing is really just figuring out what it is that they need to see. I don't know if I'm going to use any of this because I dislike appearing like a complainer or ever looking like I'm trashing a client. I am simply giving an update on this project. I got feedback on new sketches that I sent in and they're asking for new sketches again. I mentioned, I think that I had approval to go ahead on job number one, but when I started reworking it, it occurred to me that they were probably 
not expecting it to look the way it did with the changes they asked for. And it felt like I better send them another sketch just because I think this is pretty different, uh, removing the foreground figure. And so I did that and they didn't tell me to change anything about that, but now they want to see another sketch with new feedback on the new sketch I sent. And the other two pieces, they want new sketches on those for various reasons. I am it's frustrating. And I understand this is a big release with a lot of people probably adding their two cents at whatever meetings are being held. I don't know what's going on at all behind the scenes. Unfortunately, I've put in weeks of work and I'm basically still at the starting line here. And so I had to send an email and tell them I got all the, the notes. I will be working these into some new sketches, but unfortunately I am fully committed for the next two weeks to delivering other projects. And I'm not at all worried about getting any of those done. They're underway. They're in progress. The time was budgeted appropriately. Unfortunately, with this project, which I should have been able to finish perfectly fine by the deadline, it's now looking like by the time they even approve a sketch, I'm not going to have time to do the paintings. And I'm not going to sacrifice the projects of my other clients to sit down and spend another three or four days working on new sketches again for these pieces. It's, it's just not going to happen. Unfortunately, sometimes, I don't know, maybe, maybe I packed my schedule a little too tight, but I truly did not expect for this amount of discussion over sketches. So uh, that is the situation right now. And I am hoping that this next round, whenever I'm able to uh, get it turned in, will finally get us to the point where I can start working on the paintings. I'm a little bit pessimistic about how that process is going to go, given how this has gone so far. But that's just how it is sometimes. So I'm going to keep going forward. Today I'm recording a video that I don't expect to be sharing, but I was talking with a friend of mine who is also an illustrator who's got a lot of similar experience, and I mentioned as a joke that I have an eight-part video series on watching me go from being very excited to being completely dismayed with the project, and he encouraged me to at least keep it and come back to it later to see if I ever might want to share it. I never want to trash a client. I don't feel like that's professional. Unfortunately, this job just didn't go the way that I'd hoped. And it has come to a point that I think I'm going to be sending in my resignation. I did three new sketches following the last set of pencils that I turned in. I turned in a set of pencils. They gave me notes and said that they wanted to have new tight sketches before going to finish on these three pieces. And I felt pretty confident at the point that I could still get this approved. I The, the, the piece, job number two, I think, was the one that I felt the strongest. I felt like, for one thing, I was very excited with the sketch that I turned in. Did I do? No, I only did. Okay, I did the initial sketches in paint, and then I did a pencil of that that was a complete reboot. And then I reworked that heavily and did another painted sketch and turned that in. And I felt really strong 
on on that last version that I sent in. Like I felt like this is it. I got it. And job number one. I honestly feel like every step of direction that I've got has taken the piece in a direction that I feel less and less happy with. The removing of the victim and having the focusing on us was something that I initially thought sounded like a good idea until I started trying to execute it. I'm going to jump in just to real quick summarize because this next bit was impossible to edit around. The piece required two different characters who are making eye contact with the viewer and represented wildly different tones, which made the piece very confusing. And it was, in my opinion, not possible to give the piece any kind of coherent mood or tone because one of these two figures, whichever way I went with it, felt like they did not belong and it just wasn't working. I'm sure somebody's going to do these paintings and it's going to look great, but it's not going to be me. I, I don't see a, a path to the finish line with what they're asking me to do here. I don't see a way to do a painting that I'm happy with that satisfies what they're asking for. Because the, the more I follow the direction that I'm being given, the less I feel like I can connect with this piece and the less excited I feel about about doing a piece that I think is going to look cool, which is a huge problem. And then the third one, job number three, I expressed to them with the second round of sketches that the fact that we have no, okay, jumping in again to summarize, because again, this was impossible to edit around. And I'm going to try to make this really short. This piece, the problem was the subject it was extremely important to the client that the subject be understood to be a very specific size and scale, but it was also important and in the art description that it was in an environment that had a complete absence of anything that would demonstrate scale. There were, there were no familiar landmarks or reference points or, or anything to make a comparison. And if you can't, the only way to, to understand the size and scale of something is in relation to familiar objects and, and, and elements around. And without those, it, I, I really think that it was literally impossible. And they admitted that they tried to do a paint over and couldn't figure out how to make it work, but they want me to make it work. I'm telling them that it can't. It doesn't. You can't do it. I understand that the writers come up with ideas and they come up with concepts that work sometimes if you could move the camera and see something over the space of time or, or ideas sometimes work as a story, but translating that into a single static visual image some things work and some things don't and i expect that they will find another artist to do these pieces who will find some way to do it that makes the client happy it's possible that if i had no choice but to continue with this that I would get there. But at this point, I really feel like I don't have confidence in my ability to do that. And I don't have confidence in them understanding what I do. And those two problems scare me very, very much when I'm going forward on a project. And it's, it's, it's natural to be working on something and not know exactly how you're going to resolve an issue or something. I just did a piece where I had to paint a type of creature that I've never painted before. And I had to do some things that were way outside my comfort zone. And I did not know how that was all going to come out, but I have confidence in my ability to solve problems. And so I 
got into it and figured it out. And I'm very happy with the result. But in this situation, I present solutions and I present ideas and I get back responses that leave me more confused and more uncertain. And I feel like I'm being asked to do things that I cannot visualize. Like I understand what's being asked of me. I understand what they want. I don't think it's going to look good or I don't think it's possible to do. And in that case, I rough estimate think that I'm about 50 or 60 hours in on this piece, on, on all three of these pieces. And I still don't have approved sketches. And the prospect of, even if these sketches were approved, the, the prospect of getting a final piece approved and what kind of revisions that's going to go through, that scares me too. It's simply irresponsible of me to continue working under these conditions when I don't know what the client wants and I don't think that they, I shouldn't say I don't know what they want. I don't know how to deliver an image that I would be happy with that satisfies my understanding of what they want. And I don't know if they understand what I do. And it's great when you have a client that trusts you and can look at a sketch and extrapolate from that, like how you're going to get to the finish. Maybe this is a case where they look at my sketches and don't see a connection of that to the finished pieces. It's possible that they are just not that familiar with my work. I thought based on the assignments I was given, something that I was really excited to get into. So I assumed that there was some familiarity with with what I do and, and what I'm good at, but everything as it's gone on so far has, has left me feeling it has, it has left me feeling like it has left me feeling like we are mismatched. And I expect, I've already put in so much time on these pieces, it breaks my heart to walk away. I don't remember the last time that I quit a job. I was trying to think of the last, I, I felt like this before. There have been a few times where I've worked with a project that had enough obstacles and frustration that I considered walking away. I can't remember the last time that I actually did. I feel like I probably have, but I can't remember what the job was. And I don't think it was within the past 10 years. Uh, so this is, this is just not gone well. And I hate for it to end like this. And I don't know what the reasons on their end are. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how many people are in these meetings and who's giving conflicting feedback or I don't know what is going on. I have to just assume that I'm not the right person for the job. I'm trying to deliver what I do. And I've felt as I've done this very good about that. I've felt a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and the fact that the results to me that just says uh, whatever's going on on their end I'm, I'm not the right person for it it shouldn't be that hard it shouldn't go like that and so hopefully the next person they get for it will be the right person for it and they'll be able to get it done smoothly and I just can't keep throwing good money after bad on this one. I gotta, I gotta pull out and I've got other projects that need my attention and I can't keep sinking day after day into this one. Sorry to say.